Hi everybody, it's Diane Bader. I'm a local writer from Orangeville and I write mysteries. I'm also a member of Crime Writers of Canada as well as the Sisters in Crime of Toronto and uh, also the Headwaters Writing Group that meets right here at the Orangeville Library. Um, I thought I'd read to you today from my newest book. It's called Dead Without Shame and it's part of my Gilda Wright mystery series. And you can find all of my books either at the library or at Booklore or online. So they're all in ebooks and print form. So I thought I would read to you a little bit today. And uh, this is just from the beginning of the book, chapter one. Tim, not giving anything away. <laughs> Kane flared his nostrils. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Don't start, Gilda Hutt. First you want me to fire the janitor. Now you're ranting about Nick and Rosie. What's your problem today? His face reddened. He puffed at his chest like he was about to launch into a tirade, then paused. As fast as his anger rose, he seemed to rein it in and deflated as he blew out a long breath. I need to change. I have to teach. I have a class to teach. Are you coming to train today? Of course. I have to get ready for my brown belt braiding in two weeks. She clicked the mouse to close the spreadsheet she was working on. It could be a small class. Why is that? Well, today's Halloween. The kids all have school parties. Besides, when Mick isn't here, the students tend to slack off. Mick grinned as he flexed a bicep. You forget my appeal to the women of Sandstone Cove, love. The cat might be away, but this doggy knows how to play. He winked as he turned toward the change rooms. Maybe I'll do class with no gi top on. That'll bring in the ladies. I'm sure they can smell the testosterone for miles. Darlin' never underestimate the power of a set of tight abs and an Aussie accent, both of which come in handy with the Sheilas. He left the room. Too bad you're not actually an Aussie, she muttered. Good thing they don't know that, love, Kane called out. She snorted, surprised he had hurt her over his ego. Just as he predicted, the lunch hour class was packed, even though he did wear the top to his karate uniform. Not about to let anyone slack off, he pushed all the students to run a lap, then drop and do ten push-ups, over and over, until Gilda's arms and shoulders burned. Okay, I give up. I'm six push-ups away from death. Marion Yearly, Gilda's best friend for nearly ten years, groaned beside her. Who gave Kane coffee today? Gilda gasped. No coffee, just an unhealthy overdose of ego. Stop being nice to him, will you? Flattery will get us all killed. Marion dropped down, face down onto the mat. A foot taller than Gilda and built like an NFL quarterback, Marion was a local 911 operator. She had lost about 20 pounds since August when she started training, as well as eating healthier, with her new boyfriend, Rosie Molly. Get up! Kane nudged Marion's leg with his big toe. One more lap then you can collapse. She didn't look up. Her voice was muffled by the tatami mats. I'm good. Just run me over. Kane closed his eyes and shook his head. He grabbed Marion's feet and dragged her into a corner. He left her there face down as he turned back to face the class. Yummy! Stop and grab your sparring gear. Did he just yell stop? A loud groan came from Marion in the corner. Seriously? Except for you. Kane glanced back over his shoulder. She struggled to get up. Oh, giddy. You can give me another 50 push-ups. Marion flattened her body to the mat with a groan. You're cute, but I hate you. Just think how good you're going to look in a bikini next summer, he said. Gilda tried to stop a giggle from escaping as she fastened the Velcro on her spring gloves. The fact Marion had started training to impress Rosie wasn't lost on Kane. Me? In a bikini? Marion pushed her upper body up off the floor in a cobra pose she couldn't do two months ago. Could you imagine? Kane's eyes grew wide. He flashed Gilda a small grin. Eh, I asked for that, didn't I? Yes, you did, Gilda muttered. He paused. Okay, on your backs. Count out ten sit-ups each. Marion starts. Yep, still don't like you. Marion flared her nostrils, then rolled over and counted. Gilda never saw Marion move so fast in her life. Not even for ice cream. That was saying something. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed and uh, 
stay well. Hopefully we'll see you very soon. Take good care. Bye.